Hello viewers. In our previous video, we have seen the two properties of metal that how the metal react with oxygen and how the metal react with water. So that two property we have already seen. Now we are starting with the third property of the metal that reaction of metal with acid. It means how the metal can react with the acid. So whenever the metal reacting with dilute acid, it will produce salt plus hydrogen gas and this example we have taken in our first chapter video also in that we have taken the zinc pieces pieces of the zinc metal into a flask and when we are adding the dilute hydrochloric acid into it so we have seen it will produce the salt that is zinc chloride plus it will produce the hydrogen gas so that activity we have seen in beaker I have drawn the figure and you have seen that activity so the same reaction I have written over here uh, that when zinc going to react with uh, hydrochloric acid it will produce the zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas bubbles will going to be evolved out that you can see with your eyes when you are performing this reaction right okay so metal with dilute acid gives the salt plus water but as we have seen that the reactivity of all the metals is not the same so same uh, thing apply over here that the reactivity of the metal is not same with the acids also some of the metal react with the dilute acid while some of the metal react with the concentrated acid right so uh, here there is one knot that Hydrogen gas is not going to be evolved with nitric acid HNO3. See, uh, we have uh, pre in previous chapter, first chapter, we have taken the example of uh, um, here HCl instead of HCl, we have taken the H2SO4, right? In that also, we have seen the hydrogen gas is going to be evolved because zinc react with H2SO4, ZNSO4 salt will prepare and hydrogen gas is evolved. But nitric acid. With the reaction of nitric acid, the hydrogen gas is not going to be evolved. What is the reason behind it? The reason is that nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. And because it is a strong oxidizing agent, hydrogen gas is converted into its oxide. It means water. Because it is a strong oxidizing agent, so it, uh, so it will oxidize the hydrogen and convert it into hydrogen oxide. It means we are considering as the water, right? So it will be... Uh, H2 is converted into H2O because the nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. So that's why H2 gas is not going to evolve when you are using the dilute or a concentrated acid is uh, nitric acid. And now same way we have given here the series of the reactivity of metal with the acid. So magnesium is a highly reactive uh, metal with the dilute acid. Then after aluminium, then after zinc and then after ferrous, right? Okay, now uh, some of the metals does not, like we can take the example of copper. Copper does not react with the dilute acid, but might it can react with the uh, concentrated acid, right? So that is the reactivity of the different metal with the acid. Okay, now next, uh, next property of the metal is metal with metal solution. When any of the metal, when going to react with the salt solution of uh, any other metal, then how it will going to be react? See, this is now nothing a new reaction. We have already seen in our previous chapter that is the displacement reaction. In first chapter, what we have seen, we have seen the displacement reaction. In that reaction, we have seen that the more reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal. So here, the same reaction is metal with metal solution right okay so suppose we are taking any of the metal which giving the name a so when uh, so once a metal going to react with the salt solution of b metal then what happened suppose b metal is more reactive sorry b metal is a less reactive so it will be displaced by the a metal so you will get the salt solution of a metal and metal b will going to be separated out if you are going to take the example to make it easier then we are, here we are having the example suppose here uh, ferrous is our A metal so when this A metal going to react with the salt solution of B metal matlab ki copper is here our B metal so as the ferrous is more reactive than the copper so ferrous will going to displace the copper 
and instead of ferrous sulfate you will get the salt of uh, sorry instead of copper sulfate you will get the salt of ferrous sulfate plus copper metal will going to be separated so this reaction already we have seen in the first chapter which is a generally displacement reaction right now let's we move towards the fifth properties of the metal that is its reactivity series which one is the most reactive metal is potassium and least reactive metal is silver and gold and that is the reason we are preparing the jewelry from the silver and gold because it will not going to rust and because its reactivity with water oxygen acids etc it is very least and that's why it can be as it is for a longer time and that is the reason we are preparing the jewelry from the gold and silver right because they are the least reactive in the nature while the most reactive metal is potassium and sodium then after you are moving uh, towards the calcium magnesium aluminum then the reactivity will going to be decreases gradually now how we can uh, measure the reactivity or how we can judge the reactivity of any of the metal that we are going to see in our next topic see the reactivity of metal can be uh, seen can be observed or can be judged on the basis of their valence how many valence electron there it means in a, uh, outermost orbital of that particular matter how many electrons are there that all the things you have studied in ninth standard that if the outermost orbital having a one two or three electron then it can be considered as a metal because they used to like the don't they used to like to donate the electron same way five six seven electrons then they used to gain the electrons so on the basis of that we can identify the reactivity of any given metal right okay so on the basis of that reactivity series is given over here and that is also given in your eighth standard textbook or do a textbook okay now the next topic we are going to take uh, in this chapter that is the corrosion and corrosion is also not a new topic because this same topic you have studied in the first chapter so i explain you the corrosion means what any of the metal when come in contact with oxygen as per the reactivity they will react with oxygen and form its oxides and the oxides of that metal is called rust right so uh, corrosion is the rusting of any of the metal uh, some common example rusting of iron uh, iron rod iron door when come in contact with oxygen it's a very slow process because the reactivity of the iron is not that much or it, it is a very least reactive towards the oxygen so that's why the rusting of iron is a very slow process right okay now how to prevent the rusting of iron because every year uh, there is a big economic loss because of the rusting of iron big ships are there building uh, constructions are there monuments uh, some monuments are there in which iron has been used right so there is a big loss of the property every year because of the rusting of iron so how we can prevent the rusting of iron so there are certain methods which we can apply to prevent the rusting of iron first of all the general and common method to prevent the rusting of iron is applying paint because whenever you are applying the paint uh, the iron surface has been covered by the layer of the paint so it does not come in direct contact with the oxygen and the rusting could be stopped right second oiling see during the uh, monsoon season we are oiling our vehicles or oiling the iron objects why because when you apply the oil over the iron objects or any any metal objects it will cover the layer of the of that metal so what happen uh, your metal does not come in direct contact with the oxygen so the rusting could be prevent now next method is the galvanization which is also known as the electrolysis or electroplating so galvanization means what suppose a uh, metal is there which is reactive towards the oxygen and start rusted right so over that metal you can apply the layer of that kind of metal which is either a least reactive towards the oxygen or a negligibly reacting with the oxygen so like this way you can uh, save the metal uh, which is uh, having more reactivity with the oxygen like uh, galvanization if you are going to take the example suppose you are having the iron rod or any of the iron object over that iron object you can put the layer of the zinc by the process of electroplating 
so zinc is a least reactive towards the oxygen so iron object has been protected by the cover of the zinc and by this way you can uh, prevent the corrosion of the metal and that process is known as the galvanization next uh, we can prevent the rusting by preparing the alloy. Now what is the alloy you have studied in lower standard? That alloy is the mixture of metal. By mixing the metal, what happened? Its property will going to be changed. Its property will going to be enhanced. And because of that, the rusting could be prevent or corrosion could be prevent. Here we have taken the example brass. Brass is an alloy which is prepared from the copper and zinc. Then next is bronze. Bronze is the, is the alloy which could be prepared from the copper and tin. Right? So here by uh, mixing some of the metal its property could be enhanced and the rusting or the corrosion could be prevented. Right? So these are, uh, these are the some steps for prevention of the corrosion. Okay. Now here uh, chemical properties, uh, basic chemical properties of the metal we have seen in our next video we are going to see some of the properties of the non-metal. Till that stay safe, stay at your home and thank you viewers.